Hello, in this video I will show you how work uh, this uh, limitation properties. Uh, the purpose is to control your demolition. Uh, it uh, doesn't matter mesh or cluster demolition, they work for all of them. So first property here is solidity. And uh, I will use these simple boxes because it doesn't matter how complex mesh, it's just uh, easier to, sh to show you how this properties works with uh, some simple meshes. So first one is solidity and it defines how fragile object will be. So the higher solidity, the harder it will be to demolish it. But as I said before in previous video, it, it matters which uh, material type you set here because every material had its own solidity also. Uh, so this one works as a multiplier. And so here my concrete. And uh, I set here solidity 0 0.1 and this concrete has solidity 1. So let me turn off. So I will initialize them. And you can see that, uh, well, concrete with higher solidity wasn't demolished, even though box, boxes are the same, material is the same, every property is the same, only solidity is different. And in this case, I have, uh, here's a, another concrete small box, but it's, it, ha it also has uh, solidity one, just like this one, but it was higher than this box. You can see that uh, it's about more than about twice higher than this box. So it also depends uh, uh, how collision, how high will be collision strength. So in this case, you'll see that these two boxes have the same properties, but first one. It's not getting demolished, but second demolishes. This is because it was higher and collision was also higher. So if you want uh, prevent the object, you can you need to increase solidity. Also, uh, in this case, I'm using metal, uh, metal material type. And uh, also, as I said before, it doesn't matter uh, <clears throat> how low will be solidity. If you picked here metals, uh, metal material object will not be demolished unless you will change this in Refire Manager material presets here. But also, this is also will be another tutorial. And finally, here is a, another object. As you can see, it's high. Uh, it's not so high even as this box, but it has mm, glass material, which is very fragile. And I can even increase solidity, but still it will, it will be demolished. Again, only because it has glass material. So it all matters and uh, that's it with solidity. Next property is depth. And depth uh, defines how, how many times your object will be demolished. So for this box, I set it to uh, depth to one. It means, so it means uh, the big demolition uh, object will be demolished once and that's all you can see fragments falling down but they are not being demolished anymore and in this case i set the same box every property is the same i set def to two which means that when object will be fragmented now you can see these are fragments which i created from the first demolition and here you can see it says demolition def one out of two this one set says one out of one which means it won't be demolished anymore and for this one, it's still possible to demolish every fragment one more time. Now you can see they're falling down and getting demolished even more. So basically, you can get very, very small fragments very quickly. And for this example, I set def level to four. Uh, so as uh, uh, it means that you can break object. So this is the first, let me, sh let me pick some fragment. So this object says here one out of four demolitions. Here it was broken to, to some more fragments. Now this fragment says two out of four. Let's see how it will end up. And as you can see, there are so much fragmentation demolitions right now, so it starts slowing down. This is obviously something you will not need to create in your game, 
maybe you should uh, increase solidity for fragments so not all of them will be demolished but this example just shows you that it's, it works it's still possible and it's scalable and again it was demolished to even more fragments here you can see new fragments and now it says three out of four and well i can pick it and uh, demolish one last time uh, i guess it's not demolition because now it reaches uh, this size limitation uh, so maybe maybe i can demolish this one oh i think i think the problem that it's not getting demolished because i reached my yes i reached my fragments amount level as you can see right now there are more than 1000 fragments again this is this property this is where you can uh, kind of limit amount of uh, fragments it will be possible to create just kind of another limitation but global in this case i set it to 1000 and right now i have more than 1000 fragments so i will not be able to demolish anymore until i will increase this value so you can see that complete mess and th that was just four uh, demolition levels and uh, let's say i can just just to show you that it's possible let me create this manager manually in this case i can change these properties maybe i set here five thousand of fragments and i will turn off this fragments actually don't need to and here i will set it to zero zero means that there are basically no uh, death limitation it means it will be demolished over and over using only this limitation only this solidity time and size limitations will work so just let's try again it will it will slow down a lot i think but but here you can see okay it's about about 2000 fragments here a lot of very small fragments Okay, I created even more fragments. So yeah, this is obviously something that you will not uh, create in your game. But again, I am showing you this just to show that it works and it's, it's, it is possible. It's like uh, one frame per second right now. But I guess there are right now maybe 3,000 fragments. Yeah, about 3,000 fragments. So uh, that was uh, def uh, limitation property. Uh, in most of cases, you will need to use while one, and maybe sometimes you can set it to two, but who knows, maybe you want to create more fragments at some point. And next property is time. Uh, it allows you to uh, prevent your object from being demolished in case they uh, just were created or initialized. So the lower the value, uh, the quicker object will be uh, available for demolition. And here my two boxes. Uh, for this one, I set time to 0 0.1. And for this one, time is one second. So uh, I will start simulate them. So now we can see that this object was demolished because its save time passed, but this one wasn't because its save time wasn't passed. So now it, it so it was demolished only at this second block, and also you can see that this fragment also wasn't demolished because after it was created, it also had one uh, one second of save time. And now if I will let's say drop it. Well, now it was demolished. So in this way, you again you can prevent your objects from uh, being demolished instantly after they were just created. So increase this number, and you will have less demolitions. But uh, 
it will be still be it still will be possible to demolish object but a bit later and here's another property which prevents your object from being demolished at its size and uh, it works pretty simple if object size if object bounding size is less than this value it measures in units then it will not be demolished so in this case i set to 0 0.5 which means more uh, small fragments will be possible to demolish again my depth level is 2 so let's demolish them and uh, just in case i set here uh, size to two units so uh, in this case there will be much less fragments so here you can see that uh, most of the fragments wasn't demolished anymore even though depth level is set to two but in this case uh, a lot of fragments uh, uh, was re-demolished again So this is another property which allows you to control your dem uh, demolition in case you have a lot of fragments. So this is a way to control uh, how they will be demolished. And the last property in this group of properties is slice by blade. This one checkbox, it allows you to slice your object pieces uh, using another object which has refire blade scripts on it. So all you need to do is just set demolition type to runtime check on the slide by blade and then apply uh, refire blade script to some other object and set these properties so our start play mode and also let me let me increase my depth level maybe so all you need to do is just move your object is blade through another object and basically that's it oh, seems like the solidity was too low yeah, well, it should increase solidity because every slice is also possible to demolish. Its depth level is set to one. Let's try again. Actually, we'll set it to zero. So this is how Blade uh, works and how you can slice your objects. And I guess that's it with uh, this uh, limitation uh, group of properties. I uh, hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.